Hello students, in this video we'll see how to find the premium of an Asian arithmetic strike option. Let's suppose that a stock with spot with spot price 50 follows a binomial tree with up motion 0.1 and down motion negative 0.1. So it goes up by 10% or down by 10%. And each period is equal to one year. And what we want to do is we want to find the premium for a two-year arithmetic average Asian strike option, call option. And let's assume that this stock pays no dividends, that delta is equal to zero, and R is equal to 0 0.05. So the risk free rate of continuous return is 5%, there's no dividends, and let's find the average strike, arithmetic average strike Asian call option. So what we'll do is we'll write down our tree. So what does our tree look like? We're either gonna go up by 10% or down by 10%, so here is 50. And 50 will go up to 55. And 55 will go up to 60.5. Go down over here to 49.5. This goes down to 45. This goes up and then this goes down over here in each of these periods is a year. And this goes down to 40.5. So in this configuration, what we have is the following. So we have four different paths. So we have four paths to consider. We have the up, up path, we have the up, down path, we have the down, up path, and we have the down, down path. And so what we can do is we can figure out what the average strike is going to be. Now there's two methods to do this. One method just says do not include the initial price, and the other method, which is more common on the actuarial exams, is to look at the everything on the path except for the initial price. So in this example, what we'll do is we'll just look at the average of, we will not include the initial price, we'll just look at the average of the two, um, two previous. So on the up up, what we'll have is we'll have an average strike price, K will be 1 half 60.5 plus 55. Over here the strike, K on this node, so now we go, we went up and then we went down, so we'll have one half of 55 plus 49.5. If we went down then up, then our strike K will be one half, one half of 45 plus 49.50. Oh, and K over here will be one half, and then I went down, down, so I'm going to have a 40. 0.5 plus 45. And so we can tabulate each of these things. So we'll do it all separately. So in the first one over here, what will we have? So we'll have a 60.5 plus 55 and divide by 2. So this first strike price will be 57.75. The next strike will be divide this by 2. So the strike on the up down will be 52.25. The strike on the down up will be a 45 plus 49.5 divided by two will be 47.25. And then the down down will have a 40.5 plus 45 and divide this by two. And with this down strike is 42. Down, down strike is 42.75. Notice I have not included the 50 in any of these averages. Now let's figure out the payouts. So what will the payouts be? So 
So on the up, up, well, we had 65, and the strike was 57.75, so we're going to have a 60.5 minus 57.75. And so we have that this is going to be equal to $2.75 on that up-up note. If we went to the up-down note, we will have a I went up, then went down, some over here at 49.5, but the strike now is 52.25, so the payoff over here is zero, because it's the maximum of zero and 49.5 minus 52.25, and that's clearly zero. So the up-down node gives me zero. The down-up node will give me a 49.5, and then the K over here is 47, so we'll have a 49.5 minus 47.25. And over here we have $2.25. And on the down down, the payout will be the max of zero and 40.5 minus 42.75, and that's zero. So on the up up node, we get a payout. On the down up node, we get a payout. So we get two payouts, and we have to bring those back with interest. So now the next thing to do is to compute the risk neutral or the risk free rate risk neutral probability. So will P star be in this problem? So P star in this problem will be E to the R, which is negative 0.05, minus the down rate, which is going to be a 0.9, because you're going up by, down by 90%, and then a 1.1 minus 0.9. So we can tabulate this value and see what we get. So this value over here will be This will be 0.256147, etc. That's my P star. And so now to write down the final answer, all we do is just say, okay, what we'll have is we're going to have two payouts. So we're going to focus on this payout over here. So we get this payout. What, how do we get to this payout, this up, up payout? Well, I need to multiply this by P star squared, because that's two up motions. And then e to the minus 2 times r over here, because that will bring it back with, with interest. And then over here, we'll hit this with what? I went down then up, so I'm going to do a p star over here, and then a 1 minus p star. That gives me a, un, a down over here and an up over here. e to the minus 2r. So we see after this calculation that my premium will be e to the minus 2r p star squared times 2.75 plus p star 1 minus p star and then that will be hit with 2.25 and that after the calculation will give us the option premium for the arithmetic strike Asian call option. Thank you very much.